And today we have a special video that's going to help you make the most out of your Canva trackers and get it ready for good notes. If you're using Canva for various projects and looking to make the most out of your digital organization, then look no further because this tutorial is for you. And I'm your host, Melanie, and I'm excited to show you and customize a Canva tracker just for your needs up on GoodNotes. So what we're going to do is we are going to, in the general bar here, we're going to put the word tracker and our templates will naturally come up. So we're just going to pop in there and Canva have a range of really great trackers already. They're really ready to go. But if you're anything like me, I like to grab other people's trackers and actually make it my own because a lot of these trackers just don't work for me. They may be really pretty, but they're still not working for me. So Canva, here I go. There's some great ones here. Habit trackers, order trackers, expense period trackers. And here's a nice little habit tracker. That's quite cute. That is nice. And I would change that and start making it my own. This one's a good one too. Let's go back. We've got moods as well. We've got this one's a cute one with a little B. Habit tracker. This would be great for a personal one, eh? You could even actually sell some of these, but you've got to change them up. You can't just leave it as is. Um, some of these are made by people like Journal by Andrea Hansen and different people who've either been hired or paid some money to actually put these and upload them. So I'm going to look for a nice little habit tracker, sleep tracker. That looks cute. Um, income tracker, monthly tracker. We're getting somewhere here. So there's any everything and anything just for you. All right, here's a good one. I think I'm going to use this one. Nice and easy, simple but I can change some of the font and things like that to make it my own. And I really like to see my own crafted stuff, templates in GoodNotes. So that's okay so far. I might change just the background and all I do is click into it. And then up here you have the color. So let's change the color, maybe a blue, bluey color. And if that comes in, we need to change the background to this, to another color. And there's the brand, there's a brand kit that you can use, all the already made brand kit. So I might use maybe that color, that's better. Nice. I'm going to change the font. You click into it like a couple of times and then I'm going to go to one of my already uploaded fonts that I've already uploaded from Creative Fabrica and something that I quite like might be this one here. That's that's quite nice. So it's a little bit plain. This one's probably the best that I like. Let's make it big and I'm going to make it dark blue because, you know, it's just better, better looking for me and I'm going to select these and make them dark blue here. And that's nice and easy. See blue on blue looks nice. This little filigree thing is no longer needed. Goodbye. And I'm actually going to select all the little circles and make those dark blue as well. And you can see up here that it's an outline. And that's all you need to do is just change it to blue. And voila, over here it turns into blue. Again, the font here, I'm actually going to put shift, click, 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 click. Play. Then I'm going to go up to color and go to dark blue as well. But while I'm there, I'm going to make it tiny bit bigger because we all know that on iPads, that font is always a little bit small and big is better, I think anyway. So even this one might be a bit bigger. If I'm going to use water workout, yes, I'll probably use that one, but change it up a little bit. Read, not so sure. I might do some diary writing there. Writing, writing, I, it's not really me. I'm not a writer, writer, although I teach it. Being a teacher, that is guys. <laughs> although I'm not a writer myself and I know that. Okay, so, so far so good. Now this brown is also a bit blah. Let's change it. Select it. That's all I did is I went to the corner and I pressed, I left clicked for me. And then I'm going to go up to here and then I'm going to change to blue and then up here I'll change to blue as well so we'll see what that looks like so far so good again shift collect select and let's make that dark blue as well uh, make that larger I'm have to do those individually we'll see yeah that's better okay so so far really good notes if I want them so you've got bullet points it might be a bit tiny but hey what can we say now I might change this one to five glasses of water that kind of suits me a little bit better so i've got this fantastic app called presently and it's on my cell phone and it's really great for gratitude it's actually quite safe because you've got to put your thumb on it to open it and no one can just go and read it so it's beautiful i love it Two meals with the veggies. And sleep is a good one for me because I tend to go to bed quite late at night. Asleep. Okay, we're good, we're good. I feel though I want to add some elements in there and I'm going to move, select and move these down. And I'm going to add something up here. Um, that should be okay. So we're going to go to elements. That's elements there. And I'm going to search for paper strip. 
Really good ones here. Maybe the yellow looks good up with blue. Okay, so some good papers. I would probably use maybe this one. And this is pro, so you do have to pay for it per year. And that's what I do, but I think it's well worth it. Right, how about a just straight blue one? That might be a... Nope. Mm, maybe that one's quite good. Okay, so it's a darker blue, which I'm okay about. Okay, so that just gives it a little bit of a flare in there. And I can write in the date, such as October or the week I'm in, that I feel like I'm in week three of October. Or I could actually put the date because it's a daily thing. So I'm going to leave that there and maybe just find something else to zhuzh it up. Maybe a pen of some kind. Hmm, so there's a range of pens. Oh no, this one looks good. Yeah, we can deal with this one. I like this one. Now, if you click on that element, you can also go up here to make the transparency a little bit lighter if you want. So it's not taking up all the eye. Yeah, if you want that pen behind anything, all you do is click on the pen and then you go to position and then you go backwards to back or you could go forward to all to the front. All right, my track is ready to go. So this is now an easy job for me. All I need to do is download. We go to share, then we go to download down here, and then we go either go PNG or PDF. They both work perfectly fine. I'm gonna stick with PNG. A good trick is to see what the title is. Colorful, simple habit tracker. Fine, I'm gonna use that. If it's something completely different, you need to change it to something that you'll recognize. Downloading to my computer. From here, I'm going to upload onto my Gmail, send it to me, and then I'm gonna open, download it onto my iPad. And once I've opened it on my emails I am going to send it by importing it into GoodNotes and then it's good to go. Okay guys so now I am in Gmail and as you can see there's my tracker right there open it up and there's my habit tracker in a PDF version or sorry the PNG version and all I do is I download it to my computer which is going into downloads and then I'm going to find it in my folder. So let's go and find my folder which is down here. Okay, so I'm now into my files guys and if I go down here I'll see my downloads right there. Click on it and then I'm going to find it. It's usually at the bottom and I've made a similar one before and I've made and I've got my current one here. So I'm going to open that one. There is my habit tracker as a PNG. Now I'm going to open it here and then I'm going to find good notes. Open in good notes. And as you can see, I've already started my old tracker. So I'm going to import to current document, not as a new document, because I've already started one. And here it is. So there's my new one that I'm really proud of. I actually like the blue. Yeah, so there you go. There's your habit tracker. And there's my cover page that I made in Canva, by the way, and I changed that as well. If you're interested in learning about how to make a notebook, then check my video out here that I'm going to put up. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and stay blessed.